Today's theme is the mind refresh and reshape. To me, it's like pressing the new the, the reset button. You know when things go wrong on your computer and you try everything and nothing seems to be working. You press reset and after a few moments, things back to normal. This is what comes to mind when I read today's theme. Art provides a unique and precious facility to the artist. Aristotle says, the aim of art is to represent not the outward appearance of things, but their inward significance. Thomas Morton said, art enables us to find ourselves and lose ourselves at the same time. Just such opportunities are quite rare. My gratitude to all our charges for going on an adventure of the mind and, and sharing that adventure with all of us. My admiration to them for holding on to their genius and creativity, which as children we all possess, but let it slip away as we grow into adulthood. Adulthood. Remember as children we said that we do all this in art and all. We have art, art built it into us. We were built into our spirit. And we grow old, we just allow that just still we lose. Yeah, either you use it or you lose this. So all you artists here and all the children here in the crowd, we want you to continue to present yourself as artists to the world. Creativity takes courage. And I applaud all the artists for the creativity and courage. This event, as usual, is in honor of Father's Day. And this was birthed, the genesis of this was birthed seven years ago in co collaboration with the Raj Yoga facility. I respect that and wish to commend the organizer for this decision. As part of some research which I conducted at the Youth Training Center, the, the, the literature is replete with an, an, an example of the importance of fathers and the lives of their children. One study showed that the likelihood that a young male will engage in criminal activity doubles if he is raised without his father and triples if he lives in a neighborhood with a high concentration of fatherless families. That same study also showed that a teenage girl from an advantaged background is five times more likely, is five times more likely to become a teen mother if she grows up in a single mother household than if she grows up, up, on a, up in, a, in a household with both bio, biological parents. The research resoundingly concluded that the one human being most capable of curbing the antisocial tendencies of a boy is his biological father. Fathers, we need you. Society needs you. Trinidad and Tobago needs you. It's time you pick up this mantle, this honorary position of our father. It's time you mentor your responsibility. Children is your responsibility, not the responsibility of the prison service. Your responsibility before, not the responsibility of the teachers. Your responsibility. A will to the wise is sufficient. Respect to all the fathers and happy Father's Day. Again, I want to take this opportunity to express gratitude to the Raj Yoga Foundation for their consistency of effort in hosting this activity year after year for the past seven years in conjunction with the prison service. Thank you, Sister Gay. Put our hands together for the kind of effort, that sacrifice, and that love. Yeah, let's share the love, everyone. Let's walk the talk. Too much talk and not action. One ounce action is worth a ton of terry. Let's walk the, the walk.
You know what is needed to change around this nation? Let all come together. Together we aspire, together we achieve. It has been said that persistence opens the door, but consistency keeps it open. A few years ago, the persistence of the Rajoga organization in conjunction with the prison service opened the door. And through consistency of effort, this door has been kept open through the years, serving as a blessing to all our charges who are so inclined and who get the opportunity to feel a sense of personal pride because of the way they can use their talent and be recognized for it. A personal achievement. You know, that Grima who doing that they're using their hands in this year time for positive, for touching, for bringing joy to the world. That no longer that you have to run them down for their fingerprint. But you can run them down for the what? What you see there on the, on, on, on the pictures today? The autograph. Let's give that change and that transformation. We see in these inmates here that we have to run them down for the autograph. That whole transformation metamorphosis. Let's pay respect to that by giving them a touch on the hand. And they clap here some nice things for them. That will help always. Anything to motivate them. And keep, keep, keep them along that line. In the same breath, I want to express my gratitude to the management of Long Circular Mall for all the support through the years. We can we could not do this without you. So Long Circular Mall, we thank you for all the support. I hear this. This year, we're going even further. We want to carry this to Tobago. We want to carry it down south. We want to carry it to Twin City Mall. What you all think about what you're seeing here today? Is it great work? Is it best? Is it fantastic? Is it fabulous? Is it all, all the positive adjectives that you can find? These people doing it inside. And what makes it important is that with all these skills, being inside of this environment, the prison environment, allow them to release, to find, this true potential that you are enjoying today and you will continue to enjoy. As I said, I echo the sentiment of the Deputy Commissioner where we said that we have persons here that have made that change, that have made that effort, made that sacrifice, that have earned the right one day to go outside there and be a blessing to the nation of Trinidad and Tobago. I want to take the opportunity, opportunity to thank every single servant of the prison. I want to do it publicly on behalf of all my officers who put their line, life on the, on the line every day in creating something from nothing, in dispelling darkness and the renewing of the mind of these inmates because true transformation comes from to change, to reformation, to rehabilitation, to restoration come from, I put up 24 7 say, the minds. So a man think it in his mind, in his heart, so is he. All the inmates, as well, as well as, and on behalf of all the family, the families of the officers and the family of the inmates, and on behalf of every single citizen, who is totally aware of the role the servants of the prison play in the protection of society and crime prevention as we prepare them for their re-entry and reintegration. I want to just tell you, I want to just mention a new bold effort on which the prison service is about to embark. Our CARE initiative, initiative in a, is an acronym for changes as resource, resource endeavor. Within the prison service, we, we, have, we have begun to organize our efforts along the line of using the knowledge, skills, and ability of our charges and putting them to work for us. As part of this initiative, we have created an agent of social change program. A 
And by virtue of the program, we are using our charges as a transformative, transformative medium to address stubborn life, stubborn life boards within the prison and, and, and within the society. So we have the, these mentors that we will call them, but we call them agents of social chain going outside there because we believe that prevention is better than care. So we have them going outside there to the schools and whatever and using the mess as a message and as a testimony to change the hearts of the young ones so they avoid coming to our environment when it is far too late. To touch the life by the young, to bend the tree, to sow that seed. You sow a thought and you reap an action. So we are going outside here, these agents of social change, inmates. We have one here today, Mr. Douglas, right here. Going outside here and doing the work in the schools and the communities as an outreach program in giving back to society. So in closing, again, I want to say thanks to the Radio Organization for all their support through the years. I want to say thanks to all the servants of the prison. Without whose efforts we will not get that far. I want to thank the management of the board mall, no less servants of the, the prison. I want to thank the media for being here to show the good that is taking place within our prisons, the positive thing that continues to take place within our prison. I want to wish the entire nation happy, happy Father's Day. And I want, to, I want to end by complimenting the, all the artists. Job well done. I end with the world, the words of Albert Einstein. Creativity is contagious. Creativity is contagious. Pass it on. Pass on all that gifts that have been bestowed upon you from above. When you receive a blessing, remember, it's not for you, but to pass on to you. At this time, we need that wherever we are. Pass on your blessing. And of course, my favorite, I will not end with all my favorites here today, given the opportunity. And it comes from Galatians 6, 9. I always say it. All of us, every one of us, so it's not trying to beg a human being, because you know some of us are human beings, but not being human by, the, by, the, by our behavior and action, words and deeds. Galatians 6 9 says this, what? this way For all of us, do not be weary in well doing, in doing good, in saying good, in reporting good, you media, in reporting good, you media. Do not be weary in well doing, for in due season, and the youth man was saying that time in. You shall reap. You shall be rewarded. You reward the next generation that need help from now that we can do something positive for them. And that we will not be so selfish just to be thinking about ourselves in this year times and our present position. If we faint not, if we don't give up. So let's fight the good fight together. Let the blessings flow down on children and Tobago on the fathers. Fathers again, I implore you, I plead with you, I beg that you take up your responsibilities of all the young and shape their lives with positive vibration. Thank you all. Appreciate it.